hi guys so my face is already moisturized primed so I'm going to start with this Fenty Beauty Pro filter foundation in the color 440 guys I feel like this foundation is this particular color is a bit dark for me yep I don't know how it appears on camera but it actually is so I don't know I probably have to get a shade lighter or so and I also feel like it is um, it is not full coverage so if you want full coverage you have to build with more product next thing I do I'm going to go over it with my favorite foundation the max studio fix fluid in the shade NW 45 yeah just I just like how it um layers on top of that you know at least on my t-zone to brighten it up a tad bit more I can tell you the MAC foundation is definitely full coverage. Don't forget to get your neck, guys. Next thing I do is I use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the same shade 440 to conceal under my eyes and my T-zone. Again, this concealer is looks um, a bit dark on my skin tone it's quite warm i definitely need to get something lighter so next thing i do i blend in obviously guys i'm not a fan of beauty blenders i'm just doing this for you honestly i feel like beauty blenders collect half your products anyway and makeup is not cheap you know anyway so as you can see I'm trying to blend it all in next I'm going to use the LA girl pro concealer in the color toffee it's one of my favorite concealers guys as you can see it's almost done so I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes and my t-zone Well, I guess I'm just going to use the, the whole thing. Definitely need to get a new one, guys. Next step, of course, blend it in. I feel like the light was too bright on this one. Or... So I go in with my Benai Banana Powder. Is that how to say it? Benai. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to bake it too much because this is an everyday look and I'm not trying to have the extremely baked look. So I just put a little bit on my T-zone and under my eyes, of course. now we are going to the brows i'm just using the brush to brush out the hair a little bit and to the front part so i start by drawing a line under the brow like so and then join the upper bit in the corner to it and then 
what I do next is I just um, fill in mostly just filling in and trying to get that shape correct okay and this is how I do my brows if you have a different way that's fine so they're both done now guys back with my LA concealer LA girl concealer and this little brushed thingy that I'm going to use to outline the base of my eyebrow My sister told me this was a lipstick brush, guys. She is the professional, okay? Coco Diva Makeovers, I'm going to link her Instagram in the description bar. She's a professional, guys. Me, I'm just, you know, regular schmegler. Yep. Go in and outline it nicely. Both are done. And so on to the upper bit. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty again for the upper part of the brow because I don't like the look that I get when I use a lighter concealer on the upper bit. It just looks weird, guys. So I prefer a concealer in my shade, my skin tone, to outline the upper bit. Okay? Going in with both. Trying to bring out the shape properly okay now I'm going to just clean up around it and guys I'm using the wrong brush for this don't follow me just trying to clean around it a little bit yeah I think this is the right brush the um, um, concealer brush going to use it to clean clean up around it a tad bit more you feel me whoops we have to fix this ASAP so I'm just going to clean up excess powder on my face and I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix Powder, my favorite powder of all times, guys. I'm going to use that to blend everything together. Like so. Now I'm just going to draw my eyeliner. I'm going to use this eyeliner from my local beauty supply store to try and do this wing liner situation. Yep. Okay, not bad. Both are done. Now I use my MAC in Extreme Dimension mascara for my eyelashes. This mascara is so thick, guys. I love false lashes, but guys, I'm horrible at fixing them. So until I learn to fix them properly, it's mascara for me, and I'm good. Now I want to um highlight my t-zone and under my eyes a little bit because I want it to pop a little more you feel me the concealer is even finished oh Charlie she has to get a new one hmm? Going in under my eyes to make it a bit brighter and of course blend, blend, blend. Being very careful not to mess up my wing liner. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend. Going again with my Max Studio Fix Powder to just set underneath my eyes, guys. Yep. Finally setting it. Get my eye lids. 
Again, I'm using my powder brush to fluff around a bit. Now to the lips, I'm using my Estee Lauder Color MV in the color Quiet Riot. I love this beautiful pink lipstick. Today I'm going for a subtle pink lip, so I'm not going to layer anymore. I'm just putting on one layer, nice and subtle. Next I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick in the shade Bear It All. Hey all who gives these names guys so feisty love it that is a nude pink shade and I'm just using it um, in the inner part of my lips next I'm using this primer clip gloss in the shade iconic nude I just love this lip gloss because it's not sticky and it smells yummy sweet Next, I have this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in the shade When the Nude Strikes. That goes on my nose bridge just to highlight it a bit more. Guys, I'm a bit iffy when it comes to highlighters on my cheek. I feel like I haven't found the right highlighter. I might try the Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife and see how it goes. I usually like to put a bit of highlighter on my cupid bow. Guys, you do not have to do this. This is just something that I personally love to do, okay? So don't come for me, okay? Highlighting my little cupid bow situation. Yeah, yeah girl. yeah thank you so much for watching guys and i apologize for the lighting it was so dark when i got to this part so the lighting is not the best but i still look cute thanks for watching till the next video bye